My name is Roger Leott with Unforgettable Fire, and today I'm here with Shane Clark from Teg Pro. You guys have heard us talk in the past about being able to heat, cook, bake, produce electricity and hot water from our Kimberly and our new Katie Did stove, and that's what we're going to show you today. And today we are working with thermoelectric generators. Our goal as a company uh, from Unforgettable Fire is to allow people to heat, cook, bake, and produce electricity and hot water from a wood stove. You can see here the stove light is running just from the heat of this wood stove because we're able to turn heat energy into electrical energy. Another application for that would be to charge your cell phone from this stovetop thermoelectric generator. This one over here is not only producing electricity but hot water as well. In a couple minutes you'll see the measuring devices that are showing 107 degree water temperature just from the heat of this wood stove. Today we're here to show you a self-powered hydronic heating system. A system that will allow you to move heat to various parts of a large or small house using just the heat of your wood stove. So if I'm understanding this correctly, we're heating up water in that device that's on the side of the stove. And then it comes in through this line in the bottom and this pump is pushing it through all these heaters and then it goes back to be reheated, correct? Correct, and it's pumping it back to the thermoelectric generator to be reheated. Correct. Okay, and the byproduct of creating electricity is the hot water. Certainly, and you could look at it the other way and say the byproduct is actually the hot water because you're generating electricity. Right, okay, so what is this device right here? This device is just monitoring the voltage that is actually coming off the thermoelectric modules. We actually take that raw voltage and we use controllers such as this pump controller to drive our pump that's down here. This is a 5 watt pump uh, that has up to, I think close to 15 feet of, of uh, head pressure. So it can move uh, quite a bit of water over quite a bit of, of head. So in other words, we can push water upstairs, that's what you mean by head? Yes, we can okay. push it up to 15 feet with this pump. Wow, that teeny little thing. Yeah, that's, a, that's the smallest one we have. Uh, we have them. Um, that can push uh, quite a bit more than that. So we can, that pump will actually move uh, five gallons a minute. We have pumps that can handle much larger head pressures uh, that can move up to 15 gallons per minute. Wow. Okay, so this readout is the temperature of the water as it's going back to be reheated. Correct. And it's pretty, and as you can see, it's pretty high. 115 degrees is a good place for your water to go uh, as it's coming back. Um, so the Temperature leaving the thermoelectric generator obviously is a good bit higher than that, somewhere 150, 160? Yeah, it's uh, right around that range, correct. Okay. And it, it varies a little bit depending on where the, the stove is in its burn cycle, if it's at a high burn cycle or low burn cycle. Okay, so we're able to create heat, we're able to cook and bake and make electricity. What else are we able to do here? Well, we're generating power, as you can see, to, to move the uh, pumps. The pumps actually circulate in the water, but there's actually an additional net gain on top of that. And uh, we actually have one of the LED strips that we manufacture here in Vermont. Lighting. Lighting. So we can actually light. And we did this demonstration without a battery so you could see that there was actually a 9 watt bulb running off this. And the fan system here, this is a 12 volt fan. Correct. So we'd be able to run this on the stove? Yes, absolutely. You, you could actually use a, uh, a fan like that device to pull even more heat off a single baseboard. Okay, or a stove or whichever. Right? Exactly. Then, on top of all this, if I understand correctly, we still have some power left that we could send to a battery bank to keep that charged up. Yes. When the stove's in its high burn cycle period, it will produce a net gain of power that we can utilize to charge um, up to an amp, amp and a half at uh, 14, up to 14 volts. Wow. Or we can actually design charge controllers that can charge 24 volt systems as well. Excellent, excellent. So, in other words, if the grid happens to fail you, you can have your shower, you can cook, you can heat, you can bake, you can run base baseboards in rooms where your wood stove can't heat, and it doesn't really matter if the power's out or not. Correct. And if your wood stove's running 24 hours a day, it's going to generate power 24 hours a day, power that can power the entire system. Ladies and gentlemen, keep an eye on this one. It's coming to you soon, and I think you're going to like it. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Roger. Thank you.